Hey there YouTube, I'm back with application mission number two. Uh, this is a, a request video, so um, yeah, I'm basically doing that for this person. Um, there are going to be a couple things you're going to need here, and that's uh, either notepad or a text editor, or a hex editor. Um, I use PSPAD, that's P-S-P-A-D. You can grab that from PSPAD.com. Um, it's light, open source, and uh, it's a really good text editor or hex editor. Um, first things first. Uh, if you've done the first one, which you should do before you do this one, um, I will make a video on that later. But um, if you've done the first one, then you know that um, basically uh, it's similar to the first uh, first basic mission, whereas the uh, code was embedded in the source. Um, what's going to happen here? is that uh, we need to figure out how this works so go ahead and download it and open it and um, you know, pause the video and when you're done unpause it um, okay so you've opened the little thing here and um, make sure you have a hex editor or notepad ready but um, you've opened your little uh, little program here application number two and um, as you can see there's you know a little menu buttons up here and um, it says, welcome, please verify your software license by entering your shares. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. And then hit authenticate. Okay, you need to understand how this works. And uh, I'm not sure how it works in C or VB, but I uh, I know how it would work in, like, Perl or uh, um, or something like uh, Python. Um, basically, you have an action button, and then you have a form by which action is taken upon. So this is what's being taken action upon, and this is what's going to initiate the action and start it. Now the action can be, you know, long. I mean, I could enter one letter in here, and this action button could do a million different things to it. So basically, we need to look in the source or the hexadecimal source in the code to uh, find, like, the information regarding this right here, this action. And um, pretty much everything is going to be centered around either the form, the input, or the action. But what you want to do before you do anything is you want to see how this works. I mean, you're not going to lose the mission if you enter a wrong password. Um, you know, it says you've entered an incorrect password. Um, please re-enter until you get a right one, right? And everything. But if you look down here, it says... Um, let me do it again. Um, if you look really quick, it says, you know, sending status, and then it says status, and then it says serial invalid and everything. So that, what that is making me think um, is that, um, you know, there's something else going on here. And um, if you have a firewall, and you have the, uh, if you have the restrictions enabled, like, you know, like, ask me first or whatever, you'll see that it's trying to connect to hackthesite.org. And, um, it's really easy to figure out that this is remotely being authenticated. This isn't um, being authenticated, you know, here, because it wouldn't ask me for a password, or it wouldn't ask me for permission to connect to hackthesite.org if it wasn't trying to connect to it for some reason. So, basically, when I hit this, um, you don't see it now because I've already saved the permission, I've made it a permanent permission, but um, basically what it was doing was it was asking me, you know, port 80, um, it needed access to something on hack this site .org. It wouldn't tell me exactly what, but it needed to get there. So, um, basically what I decided to do was see what was going on and why it was connecting. So, you're going to want to open up, um, you're going to want to open up, uh, the, uh, program in the hex editor, or notepad, whichever you are going to use. So, go ahead and do that. I have mine ready. Um, if you have a tech, or if you just installed a hex editor, um, just go to file and then open and then select the exe, not the zip. Um, but anyway, okay. So once you're in there, you're gonna want to look for that general area or that portion of the code where the action and the input is. So um, search for a word that's in that area, like authenticate. is going to do it. For some reason, well, for some reason, I don't know why this does this, but 
Um, it should, you'll, you'll eventually find it. Uh, you just gotta search for it. It's a real pain because hex editors are real anal about like, you know, like, um, you're looking for a specific line of code, so you have to find the line of code. Um, you can probably hit type please, I don't know, maybe. No, it's not working for me, I don't know why. Um, this is a light editor though, so it's not as proficient as others might be, but, um, yours might do it. But anyway, let's get back to the point here. Um, once you find the area where, you know, the serial number and input is and everything, it's going to say, like right here it says, authenticate your software. Okay. And then you look down here and it says, status connecting. Okay, so obviously there's something going on. It's connecting to a remote server and it's probably looking for authentication. Odds are, you know, nine times out of ten it's looking for authentication from a database or a file. So here it says status validated that's the uh, thing when it's you know if I enter the right password then it's gonna say that and then here's the uh, you know the uh, else probably in C that you know tells me oh you entered the right password so you get to go you know collect two hundred dollars in Pasco or whatever and then um, here it says sorry that's the one if I don't get the serial right which is what comes up a little pop up uh, pop up box and then here it says status sending request which tells me that it is um, this is when he does this whoever's programming this they're gonna set the parameters for this particular statement and they're gonna say why this should come up and if you look down here get well get in any language is you know like um, P I think except for PHP but usually PHP uses get too but like get is like you're fetching something um, and then you're gonna like apply it so if you look here, it says application app two keys one two three dot txt http one dot one, and then the host is hacked inside the network. So obviously, obviously, very obviously, it's connecting to the server um, to look for confirmation. Okay, so you know, at first you think this is a problem because like, oh well, they're gonna have it locked down and everything, and I'm not gonna be able to get into it. So what's the point? Well, that's the point. They're showing you that you know you can still get in even though it's uh, blocked. And this goes back to the basic mission, like, four or five, I think, which was, like, uh, adding extensions to uh, web pages for, to, like, view files and stuff. Um, basically, what happened here is they didn't lock down their HT access, and they did not set any file parameters, so, you know, the file's totally open for me to inspect. And, you know, here's a list of keys that work with the algorithm that they set up, so... You know, all I gotta do is go back to a uh, little program here and enter a key. And congratulations, the password is Liberator. And um, it's that simple. It's really easy. And just go back to uh, hackthesite.org and enter the password here. And um, it's, it's like really easy. Um, pretty much. The uh, concept was just basically like remote authentication, and um, like uh, it, it was the same as the first one. You know, you had to go dig for information, but it's uh, it's really simple. It's easy. You know, it's just showing that there's like remote authentication, and uh, you had to find out where what it was connecting to, why, and what what was going on with that whole like process. But um, yeah, basically, you know, that's all centered around that action. So you know, if you can find the action within the code, then you're good to go. But uh, that's pretty much it.